Hey YouTubers, this is Natural Born Queen. Welcome to my channel. Tonight, I'm going to be sharing my hair story. I've gotten a few emails from new viewers that I guess have not seen um, some of my videos. And I, I've really never done an introduction video. So um, they've been asking me a few questions about my hair story. And so today I decided to share that with you guys. Um, first off, I, uh, my, not me, but my mom relaxed my hair at around five or six years old. I was heading off to school and um, she decided it would look cute on me, not for any reason um, in particular, but she said that she thought it was cute and that's why she decided to relax my hair. So all throughout, you know, elementary and all that, I got a relaxer like clockwork every six to eight weeks and it was my mom's doing so I had never really experienced seeing my you know dealing with my own natural hair so when I decided to go natural it was you know basically a whole new thing that I you know I embarked upon I experienced the breaking the thinning you know the split ends and all that I experienced all that but my mom did um, all of the caring and after my mom um, did not care for my hair anymore as I grew older my sister did most of the caring and then I moved on to my hair stylist so that's uh, you know I never really washed my hair on my own I never did anything to my hair you know on my own so thus I did not know how to braid I you know and I had two boys so it never, you know, it was not in me to do anything with my hair. You know, I just went, relied on someone else to take care of my hair. So I really didn't know anything, you know, about my hair. So um, my mom did the, you know, whole wash and grease and not really take, I mean, she was not as knowledgeable as I am right now when you know better you do better and she did not know better so applying the grease on the scalp and um, using the grease as opposed to a cream based moisturizer she used the grease <laughs> as a moisturizer on my hair and well we thought it was good so um, in February well prior to February 2007 my husband um, started talking about me going natural and he was asking about it and thus he bought some books and magazines and you know introduced me to the idea and you know told me that I could do it and I would look cute with it and all that um, so I started thinking about it and you know looking at the hairstyles and reading about it and after reading and all that started to do some research and I decided hey I can maybe do this so I started to stretch my relaxers I went a few months like about I went about two three months without relaxing and in February 2007 I did my final relaxer after that time I I decided I'm not gonna do this anymore I just basically grew out my well not grew it out I got impatient I started to like just love my natural hair the new growth that I was feeling underneath I I fell in love with it and on July 4th of 2007 we were at a friend's house he actually owns his own barbershop and he was having a barbecue and I decided impromptu I said you know what chop it all off <laughs> And everyone was in the, bar uh, in the backyard, and we went into the barbershop, and he cut off my hair. I walked back out, and everyone was like, what did you do? You know, I had hair hanging down my back, and to suddenly, you know, have short hair, it was, it was a big change. <laughs> and it was a shock to everyone. Um, I have two boys. They did not understand the whole you know natural thing and the relaxing they did not understand and my oldest 
he was really uncomfortable with the short hair. He was like, Mom, you know, I don't like short hair. I don't like it. And my son, my youngest, called it the puffy hair. So it was a whole new thing. And, you know, I got them used to it. I, I read stuff to them. And I, you know, history and all that. We did all that together as a family so that my sons understood that the hair that I had previously was... It was a relaxer. It was something I did chemically to enhance my hair. So um, the natural hair, it's not an easy journey. It, it, it's really not an easy journey, but it can be lots of fun, especially like I love the product shopping and testing. I love that. Um, during this time, I learned how to braid. I learned to wash my own hair, to condition my own hair, to pre-poo, and I learned all the different terminology and just doing a lot of research and putting my own hair journal together. Um, I've learned so much about hair itself and the process that the hair goes through before you actually see the hair, the hair on the scalp. It goes through so much, and I just learned so much. Um, spending two, three hours at a time, you know, washing and conditioning or twisting and whatnot, it it resulted in me falling in love with my hair. So now I'm at a point where, you know, I don't want anyone to put a, you know, glue on my hair or braid it too tightly because I care about my hair now. Before, I really, I didn't care as much. It was like, whatever it takes to get my hair looking cute, it didn't matter whether they had to use heat or whatever, I, it, I just, it just didn't matter. But now I care so much about my hair and if I do entrust someone with the care of my hair, I am so like <laughs> protective. I'm, although, you know, the stylist may know best in some cases, I tend to give them my two cents on, you know, hey, I'm, you know, use a wide tooth comb and, you know, when washing my hair, don't, you know, go all haywire and start, you know, scratching and all that, you know. Yeah, I treat my hair so much better than I did before. I used to do the, you know, over relax my hair, cut, dye, twist, you know, tight braids, weaves and glue. And I did all the, the wrong things to my hair. <laughs> but when you know better, you do better. So now that I know better, guys, I've been, you know, doing a lot better and this journey is for the best it has taught me a new way of life and it helped me to um, wanted to be more careful about what I put into my body and what I put on my body because it all goes to the bloodstream and it is all filtered by the liver you only have one liver and you only have one life so try to take care of it as much as possible so um, that's my hair story. It's nothing, you know, not a miraculous story or not an amazing story, but it's my story. So I'm glad that you guys were interested enough to ask about it. And I appreciate, well, I appreciate you guys so much that I, I am willing to share it with you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for watching. And be safe. Be blessed and stay beautiful. Love you guys. Bye.